guys, as you can see here, I've made tons and tons of new characters. I've got nine new ones here to show you. Um, I did put Nightmare Mangle in here because I never officially showed it to you guys. I just had it in a video, so I'm going to show you guys that today. But So yeah, let's just get into these. So let's start with FNAF 3 over here. Um, we've got Phantom Freddy. Um, pretty pretty basic, just color to Freddy Green. Cut off an ear, put some wires in, change the eyes. That's about it. Put some buttons on. It's not very much to do with Phantom Freddy. He's just a nice plushie to have. He looks nice. Um, the only annoying thing about him is that my hands start to turn green. You can't really see it on the camera, but they're getting darker. Same with Phantom Mangle. I made Phantom Mangle here. I made the eyes a little different than Phantom Freddy's because in the game, Phantom Mangle's eyes just glow white. And I didn't want to do that, so I kind of just made them like the Phantom eyes. Oh, she's got a string on her eye. I'll get that out. But yeah, this plushie is pretty nice. I just used normal fabric and then I drew in the teeth like I did with Nightmare Mangle. Um, I used a normal Funtime Foxy for this in Wave 1, if you're wondering. I didn't use a real Mangle plush, that'd be bad. And then I just colored it green, I added all the different colors. It looks pretty nice. Um, I didn't just color it a solid green color, mainly because I was running out of green. And because I think like all the black looks good on it. it, makes it look like a phantom. I like it. I think it looks really good. I did forget to put lips on it, though, so I'll put some green lips on that. Um, yeah, if you can't tell, my hands are turning green now. Next up, we have Helpy. The only FNAF 6 character out of the, all these ones here. Helpy is pretty adorable. His legs can kind of bend down. His legs are really big, but if you smush them down, they're not really too big. Um, his arms are all bendable. They've got wire in them. I wanted to make it so that it looked like he could be dancing, like, da, 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 you know, <laughs> like he is in the game. So both of his arms are bendable. You can put this down. Make it look like he's just sitting. That's Helpy. I think he looks really cute. Um, I made the body and the arms and legs from scratch. And then I just cut off a Funtime Freddy head and I colored it to look like a Helpy head. So yeah. Next up, we've got the one and only... <sighs> it's you know who it is. Jump Scare Baby. So yeah. We got Jump Scare Baby here. I just finished this one yesterday. So now I've made every single Jump Scare character. As you can see, I've got Freddy over there. So yeah, Jump Scare Baby looks really nice. Of course, it's all wrinkly back here, but I'm telling you, there's literally no way to get around that because these are uh, plushies and putting glue on the fabric just makes it wrinkle. So there's no way to get rid of the wrinkles. But from the front, it looks good. From the front, uh, you can kind of bend these. You put some wires in just so it could stand up. The wires are sticking out of the mouth there mainly because I cut the mouth out after I put the wires in and the wires are pretty tough to cut. So I'm just going to leave them there. They don't they don't cause any trouble. Um, other than that, the body is just about the same. The head is um, the endo head. I sewed it and then I, uh, I put some pieces onto it to make it bigger. I put the little pe ear pieces that go into the ponytails to make them move. So yeah, or piggy tails, whatever you call those. I don't, I'm not a hair expert. So yeah, <laughs> so this is Jump Scare Baby. I'm really proud of this one. I think it looks really nice. Next up, we've got Jump Scare Funtime Freddy. This one's a little goofy, mainly because he has the Funtime Freddy bottom jaw and he kind of sticks up because I made the endo head a little too big, but I like it. If you look at it from this angle, it looks good. I even gave him a bottom jaw here if he wants to be able to move his mouth. Um, you got the ears attached, the nose, the cheeks are black, the eyes. Um, you got the face plates on the back. This is what it looks like. Again, it's wrinkly, but there's nothing you can do about that. Um, you got the hat on the top. The face plates all have wires, so they can bend. I put teeth on the face plates just because there are teeth on the outer face plates. They look a little goofy, but I like it. I cut off Bon Bon, and then I just put that on there. So yeah, that's Jump Scare Fun and Freddy. Let's go to one of my favorite ones, Mini Rena. So this one wasn't made off any other plush, obviously. I made this completely from scratch. And I tried to make it the same style as Baby Ennard and Ballora, where it's like the little doll form. And I guess BB as well. It's like the little doll form. It has little legs. Um, it's pretty plain. Uh, I used wire inside the tutu to make it roughly like that. And then I just sewn it on. Legs. It looks pretty nice. I really like this one. I, I really wish it was official because people would buy this. <laughs> so yeah, this is Mini Rena. Awesome. Next, we've got a very, very requested character, Nightmare Chica. So the mouth, um, I tried doing something different with the mouth. I tried using a different fabric other than the one on there. And I kind of messed up. So that's why it looks a little weird. And it's kind of um, peeling and it looks kind of bad. And the, 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 um, the marker kind of spread apart in there. And I tried to color it, cover it, but it didn't really work. So Nightmare Cheek is a little bit of a failure, but other than her mouth, I think she looks good. I cut the bib just to be a little spiky. She has some holes. I just drew withering all over her. Not very much detail, because most of the Nightmare plushies don't have much detail. Um, the eyes look good. 
I, I really like this plush. Besides the mouth, I think it's really nice. Next up, we've got Nightmare Yo, and I made this one today. This morning it came in the mail, so I made it. Um, there wasn't really much to do with this plush. I cut off the buttons, and there was just a big hole here, so I had to stitch that up. That's why you can see, like, the seam there. Um, he's got the ribs. Uh, let me get the... There's all these strings and pieces of thread on him. Um, he's got the teeth. The teeth are kind of bending around, but... That's what the teeth look like. I like those. I just glued those underneath the mouth. I actually cut the mouth a little bit to go out a little bit like this because normal puppet's mouth kind of goes in. It's too skinny. Nightmare Own has a really wide mouth. The cheeks. Um, Nightmare Own's not supposed to have cheeks, but there was nothing I could do about that, so I kind of just had to color them black and make it look natural because there's no way to cover those up. Like, if I just put white fabric over, it would be a big chunk and it would look weird. The eyes and everything look good. I had to cut the eyes out a little more because he has wider eyes than the normal puppet. And then the the lips and the um, tears, I had to color black. Those were a pain because when I did that, it smudged it a couple times and I had to wipe it off before it dried and it was really stressful. But yeah, <laughs> the bottom, uh, the stripes on the legs, I colored those black, but the longer it's been sitting in my room, the more it's turning white again. But overall, I really like that plush. So let's just go into Nightmare Mangle now. So Nightmare Mangle, um... I don't really know what to say about this one. Honestly, it's pretty similar to Phantom Mangle, the way I made it. I used a Wave 1 Funtime Foxy, and then I made the teeth, and I sewn it in between the mouth. Um, I tried to color the top of the the snout, kind of like Nightmare Foxy's. Um, it kind of worked, kind of. The eyes, I just made orange. I know Nightmare Mangle's missing an eye, but you know what? I like it better with two eyes. Um, plus, Funko's not always that consistent. Um... For the little things on the top, she just has wires, so I cut out some of those to look like wires, and I glued it on. Um, not really too much to say. I just drew some withering on. I colored this arm gray because the Mangle plush has a gray arm, or it has two gray arms, but I didn't have enough marker to do that. And I colored, I just put that little piece of withering. Um, obviously, it's not accurate to Nightmare Mangle itself, but it's more accurate to a Mangle plush, so that's what I was trying to do. And then I put my own cheeks on it, just so they are red. And then the ears, I keep going up here and I forget to say. The ears, I did pretty similar to what I did with Nightmare Fredbear. If you want to know how I did that, go check out his video. But yeah, so here are all of the new characters I've made in the last couple days, besides the rock stars and Jumpscare Ballora. Let's just go show them with the rest of them. So, here is Jumpscare Baby with the other three jump scares, or in Funtime Freddy. So yeah, you've got them, you've got this one, you got that one, you got all four. Tell me if I should make jump scare entered, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. Here's Nightmare Fredbear, along with Nightmare Arion and Nightmare Chica, the three custom nightmares that I've made. I do plan on making the jack-o'-lanterns, um, I wanna try to figure out how to make Nightmare, but other than that, I think these guys are done too. Also, here's Nightmare Mangle. I forgot to put her in there. And I'm also planning to do Nightmare BB. Don't worry about that. As for these two, I'll just kind of put them with these because I don't have anywhere to put them. <laughs> Guys, tell me who I should make next. I really enjoyed making these. I'm planning on making every character. Um, from FNAF 2, I just need to make JJ and Shadow Bonnie. From FNAF 3, I need to make Phantom Puppet, Phantom BB, and Phantom Chica. I think that's it. From FNAF 4, I need to make Nightmare BB... Nightmare, the two jack-o'-lanterns, I think that's it. From Sister Location, I only need to do Biddy Bab, Yendo, and um, Bon Bon, I guess. I don't really want to do a Bon Bon plush because there's technically already a plush of him, even if he's just a hand puppet. So, tell me if I missed any. Tell me which I should do. I know I'm not going to do the Mediocres just yet. I think I'm going to be done with FNAF 6 because, I don't know, I don't really want to do the side characters. I think I'm, I'm good with the rock stars and then the salvages and then Helpy and the random ones. So yeah, um, tell me if I missed any from the previous games, like the ones I just named, if I missed any phantoms or anything. And I'm going to try to make everyone. I'm pretty close. I've got like seven to go or something, or eight, nine, I don't know. Whatever the case, I'm going to keep making them until I'm all done. I think Nightmare is going to be the hardest one. So yeah, guys. I'll see you all in the next video, meme.